welcome back to my channel so I told you guys that I was gonna have a surprise upload and it was gonna be a little bit more colorful than my first Coachella makeup look so here I am today with a rainbow cut crease I feel like this hat looks weird I don't know this look weird okay whatever we're just gonna roll with it ignore the hat uh, but yeah so I did a rainbow cut crease today with like a little bit or a couple of rhinestone embellishments so it was my first cut crease that I've done in camera or on camera I have not done many cut creases like ever in my you know life really I think it came out kind of good um, like I said I'm not like a pro but you know it's something fun for Coachella I mean, to be honest, people who go to Coachella, their makeup is a little bit cray-cray anyway, so let's just get that out there. But yeah, but if you would like to see how I got this rainbow cut crease, then please keep watching. Okay, so first I'm going to take my Morphe 12P palette. Of course, I'm obsessed. Sorry. The colors I'm going to take are basically all the colors in the second row. I'm using my Morphe M250 brush, which is basically a really tiny liner brush, just to kind of like sketch out my crease. So first I'm starting with the orange color, and then I'm going to go to the red, and then I'll head to the pink, and then the purple. So as you can see, I'm going right above my natural crease kind of just following the same shape so it's nothing too crazy or anything like that but I'm just sketching out where I want the colors to go and how far I want the colors to go and everything like that and once I have it sketched out that's when I'm gonna start putting the colors together so the pink goes to the purple the red goes to the pink and of course the orange goes to the red And you want to make sure you do the same thing to the other eye, of course. Next, I'm going to take just this matte white shade that's in the um, Morphe 12P palette. And I'm using my Morphe flat shader brush. I'm not sure of the name of it, but I'll leave it linked down below. Um, but I should have done this step after I blended out the color, but whatever, you live and you learn. I'm just going to be applying the color on my lid um, with this Morphe brush. And then whenever I have time to carve out that new cut crease, I'm going to switch to my Sonia Kashuk synthetic brush. That way it's like kind of a flat head and it allows me to get super close to that line so I could really clean it up. Next, I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics Wild Child palette in this white shimmery color. This is going to go right on top of the matte white shade. The matte white shade is basically acted as a base, and honestly, I'm so happy that I used it because it made this color pop, like super pop. Um, but like I said, I probably should have done this after I blended out that rainbow cut crease color but you know what it's fine um but i'm just going to be applying that all over the lid basically doing the same exact thing that i did with the pure white shade Thank you. 
Now it is time for blending. So I'm taking my Real Techniques accent brush, which I am so happy I used this brush for this process because it kind of made my life super easy. First, I'm starting off with the orange color from the palette and all I'm doing is first applying the color right on top of the sketch orange line that I created. I'm going to rub it side to side and then I'm going to turn the brush on the opposite side and start flicking it upwards, flicking the color upwards. You do not want to blend like how you would normally blend your crease, you know, circle motions or anything like that because obviously it won't be a cut crease anymore. You wanna make sure that you blend all of the color above the line. So once I do the orange, then I'm gonna go onto the red. And whenever I feel like I need extra blending or it's just not, coming out as smooth as I want it, the color isn't, I'm gonna switch from this brush to my Real Techniques um, base shadow brush, I believe it's called. So you'll see that in a minute, but then I'll just be like blending it back and forth. And also I wanna know, I know it's kind of hard to see like each color perfectly. Um, it was pretty difficult, like I probably should have probably should have applied the orange on top of the red just to make the red pop a little bit more because as as you can see right now it's like the red and the pink are kind of blending together um so that's the only thing that I wish I would have done differently in this tutorial but right now I'm just blending the pink out a little bit and upwards and you know making sure that that's blending in nicely with the red that I just applied and it's just gonna be a process of blending and you know, taking your time. You just do each color, you know, take your time, don't rush, and use small brushes and make sure everything's blended. And I think you should be fine. <laughs> And the last color, of course, is just the purple color. I love this color. Like, I don't know, purple is my favorite color. But anyways, um, so I applied this heavily because it was not showing up me just using my light hand. So I had to apply a crap ton and then I had to blend it out a crap ton. So that is all. And once you finish one eye, of course, you want to go ahead and do the same thing with the other eye. Next for liner, this is the Kat Von D Beauty Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper. I'm basically gonna go along that um, white shimmery shadows edge, like the edge of that, but not go all the way to the very top of it because I still want it to be like um, seen. I still, I just want it to be liner and then white shadow and then purple shadow. So I'm just gonna be making a normal wing, pretty dramatic just to fill in, you know, some areas of my eyes and just to bring out the cut crease a little bit more. So you're gonna see me basically, you know, fixing the tail of the wing and everything like that. And then to fill it in, I'm using my old trusty NYC liquid liner. I really wanted the liner to be super matte today, so yeah. Moving on to the lower lash line, I'm just gonna apply some black and my waterline. This is the Italia Fine or Ultra Fine liner in the shade 
black like I just said I, I just wanted it to basically add more depth to my eye since I'm gonna be going in with all the yellow and green and blues that are in the palette now so first I'm gonna start off with yellow um, in my inner corner of my lower lash line and then I'm gonna go to the lime green and then I'm gonna go to the light blue and then fade it into the dark blue so this is basically just an old Mac flat shader brush um, you don't have to use anything fancy just something that applies the color and once you apply all of the colors up under your lower lash line make sure to blend everything together and blend everything out for that I'm going to be using my Morphe M139 brush trusty old blending brush just to swirl all of the colors together make sure that there are no harsh lines up under my eyes and for lashes today, I'm going to be going in with the Vegas Nay and Eyelore Shining Star Lashes. These are perfect. So for lips, I'm using my Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the shade Rich, my favorite, obviously. I'm just going to be lining my lips like normal, and I'm going to be using the NYX butter lipstick in the shade Pops. I really love how this turned out. It was kind of like a nudie, brown nudie color with like a little bit of taupe. I love it with this eye. I didn't want anything too bright, obviously. Um, and once the lips are finished, I'm just gonna apply some mascara to blend my real lashes in with my falsies. And then for the rhinestones, I'm just gonna be applying three up under one eye and two up under the other one. These rhinestones are the same ones that I used in my previous video that I bought from Michaels. So I'm just taking them out of the pack and applying a little bit of lash glue on the back and then just sticking them on with my tweezers. And once you finish your rhinestones, then this look is complete. So I really hope you guys like this look. This was definitely outside of my comfort zone. Um, like I said, it was one of the few times that I've ever done a cut crease in my whole life. So I think it came out like a B minus. I could have done some things differently, but you live and you learn, like you said. So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you aren't already. Follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat. All of that will be linked down below, and I'll see you guys soon. I love you. And and bye guys.